So today I'm driving my Tesla Model Y and in this video I'm going to test something which I've just discovered with these cars is that you actually don't need to touch a steering wheel when you're using autopilot even if it prompts you on the screen. And this was following a post I've seen on one of the Tesla Facebook groups where someone discovered that you don't actually need to touch the steering wheel when you're using autopilot in the UK. And then obviously quite a conversation started and most people said that that was not true, you've got to touch the steering wheel. And then the conversation led on that it must only be for enhanced autopilot cars. So this is a 2024 Model Y, base model rear wheel drive LFP battery with hardware three cameras and just standard autopilot. So let's put autopilot on now and true you don't need to touch the steering wheel but after a few seconds you will get a little nag to say you've got to touch a steering wheel which you have to in the UK and probably most of Europe as well. There we go. So slight touch of the steering wheel is needed and it's gone away and you get that blue banner at the top if you haven't done it and then if you still haven't done it you'll get beeping as well. So traditionally you would keep your hands on the steering wheel or what I tend to do is just keep my thumb pressed on it because on the Tesla any light force will disengage autopilot so I tend to find just my thumb on it will be enough for it to detect that I'm still in control and my hands are on the steering wheel. However what this chap said is you do not need to touch the steering wheel. I actually tested this this morning on the motorway and he was right. So I've got a warning but if I put my hands over the steering wheel, there, I haven't touched the steering wheel, I've just put my hands near it and the warning is gone. So it's detecting that I'm still in control just by moving my arms up like that. So it's doing that from the internal camera. But the steering wheel looks like it's behind the camera, so that camera probably can't see the steering wheel. So what it's actually measuring is just my arms here. So let's test that because it's now saying, so let me just put up my arms. No, it's not detecting that. Put my hands there, it's detected that. But this morning I was just moving my arms up and that was enough. So we'll just try that again. In a minute it's going to ask me to touch the steering wheel. There, put an arm up. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's not working as well as it was this morning. But anyway, what I found this morning is I was just putting my arms up and that was enough. And actually I had a passenger with me and they tried it and put their hand across. And again, that was enough to turn off the warning. So it's just detecting arm movement. So I'll try that again, but putting my arms up a bit higher. Because I don't think the camera, oh, that's turned it off. I don't think the camera can see the steering wheel or it won't be able to see the top of the steering wheel. I'm sure that's out of range. But anyway, I'll have a look at the imagery, imagery from the camera a little bit later on in the video. I'll just interrupt this video now. It's the following day and we'll have a look at this internal camera up here. So this internal camera is looking at the occupants in the cabin and primarily the driver and using clever software they can see what my eyes are looking at whether I'm looking ahead looking down at the screen or looking out of the windows and I've also noticed you get the safety warnings earlier if you're not looking ahead and you're for example looking at the screen it looks like Tesla give you those warnings a little bit earlier so it's all very clever stuff and obviously now Tesla are using that internal camera to detect what your hands are also doing so they can tell when your hands are on the steering wheel or obviously near the steering wheel. And we can check what that camera sees by going into the service mode. And then in service mode we can go to driver assist and cameras and we can see there all the cameras in the vehicle and we can click camera preview. And this takes a few seconds to load. But we can then see out of all the cameras on the vehicle and we can click cabin there. So here we can see what that cabin camera up there can see. 
and as you can see down there we are seeing a bit of the steering wheel we're seeing from the badge upwards but only this top part we can't see the bottom part of the steering wheel on the camera I guess it depends on how your steering wheel is adjusted as well but in my case we can't see my left hand but we can see what my right hand is doing so in these cases where I just put my hands there that is what the camera is detecting it can see that both hands or one hand is up there on the steering wheel so anyway that chap was right we're on hardware 3 bog standard autopilot the free version you get with every car and I haven't touched the steering wheel I'm just putting my hands over it or near it without touching the steering wheel and that's good enough that the car's then happy that I'm still in control but I wonder whether this meets the UK law um, I wonder whether the law stipulates that you've got to be steering or have your hands on the steering wheel I assume it doesn't because Tesla wouldn't be releasing software which does something illegal all it's doing is detecting that I'm still awake I'm still in control and it's asking me to put some force on but I still haven't touched the steering wheel I've just put my arms up there as you can see and it's happy the notification is gone so Tesla drivers might find that quite interesting and it might save you touching the steering wheel and then over steering and turning autopilot off accidentally which I was doing a lot when I first got this car because before this I was driving a Hyundai Ioniq which had lane keep and all that sort of technology the same as autopilot but on that you could move the steering wheel quite a lot and it wouldn't disable it and I got in the Tesla and every time I touched the steering wheel autopilot was disabled I found it so sensitive I just couldn't keep autopilot on I've got used to it now and I just do that and that's enough for the car to detect that I'm still in control but obviously now you can just put your hands up and not actually touch the steering wheel uh, and I'm not on very current software on this car I don't have the spring update yet I am on version 2025 point eight point seven and uh, the current version is quite a bit newer than that because as I said I haven't had the major spring update yet but anyway I thought you might find that useful or interesting particularly if you're a Tesla driver and you find that the um, autopilot sensing is too sensitive and you accidentally turn it off too easily you could just put your hands up or oh, I found it it works with just one hand or you could probably do that actually just rest your hand on the door and put your hand near the steering wheel let's just try that for a bit is that enough to not get the message yeah looks like that is oh no there's the message yeah now it's gone so it's probably easier still just to touch the steering wheel and I will still put my finger or my thumb there on the steering wheel and just apply a little bit of pressure but anyway it's quite interesting that this is all done now via the camera and software rather than resistance on the steering wheel anyway I thought you might find that useful or interesting if you have please do click the thumbs up that really does help do subscribe to the channel and if you want to know more about these Tesla Model Ys I'll put a link below to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made and if you're thinking about buying a Tesla below also will be a referral link where you'll get money off your new car. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.